Hi YouTube, I'm Candice with Counseling Minus the Vua, and today we're going to do a video about um, having a broken heart. We're going to talk about um, the disorder broken heart syndrome, and it can be caused by so many different things. Um, a lot of people think about that as um, losing a loved one, which is definitely a scenario um, that can happen and having a broken heart and potentially um, having the fatal um, transition of passing away from it. We hear that a lot in the media. However, it's rare an occasion. So let's go back to the name. It's a broken heart syndrome. And with broken heart syndrome, it can be, like I said, just stated, um, it can be due to a death of a loved one it also can be um, various other such scenarios such as um, any form of loss or um, like a loss of job. It can be family situations. It can be um, a loss of a relationship. It can be medical conditions. Um, so things that cannot be cured and you have to learn to live with it. It can be so many other um, situations. Um, it can be financial. So let's jump right into it. So some of the symptoms of broken heart um, syndrome is um, the chest pain. And a lot of people refer to the chest pain as like um, experiencing a heart attack. So you're having chest pain and it's consistent and you're having difficulty breathing and so what you want to do is always um, be um, present with your medical, um, with your medical history, be present with your medical appointments, just be calm and be up to date. So when you're having chest pain, you kind of want to rule out what you definitely want to figure out what is it due to. Is it heartburn? Is it a heart attack? Is it stress? Is it gas? It could be so many other things, but what is important is you on top of things and you're finding out what is going on because if it is a heart attack, um, the sooner you know, the better as far as the results, as far as saving your life. So um, back for the sake of the video, yes. So um, so you're feeling, um, you're feeling like you're having chest pain, you're, you're having shortness of breath, and this is all triggered by, um, let's say that you lost a loved one. Let's say you got a relationship or something financial, uh, things of that nature. This is all triggered by um, a stressful event. So um, this is the definition for um, broken heart syndrome. Um, and... Some of the things that we can talk about is, let's see, maybe some ways to go through it. So the first thing I did was um, to encourage that you stay on top of your medical, um, stay on top of your medical um, conditions and medications and appointments. Make sure you're compliant with that. So that's the first thing I to rule out any other medical condition. The second thing is to notice if it's triggered by uh, any type of loss, any type of event that is stressful. If so, um, to recognize that this is the definition of um, having this, this disorder. Um, so um, let's see what you can do. So we kind of talked about um, depressive um, symptoms. Um, so with me thinking with this disorder, it will mimic um, some depressive symptoms, um, maybe some anger. Uh, if you're um, having um, a medical condition that you're um, dealing with for the rest of your life, maybe some anger, maybe some denial, maybe some sadness, some um lack of energy, some loss of interest. So a lot of these symptoms can be mimicked and seen as depressive symptoms. So I'm going to give you the same technique. So we have relaxation techniques. Um, 
where you are um, bike stretching, you're stretching your muscles. So that's just um, like using a stress ball where you're stretching um, period, where you're um, tightening your muscles and just releasing, where you're taking deep breaths. Um, also, as well as we can use CBT as it's applied to everything to um, just kind of change your negative views of yourself, others in the future, your future into more positive thoughts and behaviors. In that aspect, um, I also just thought on some treatment, um, motivational interviewing. So motivational interviewing is um, pretty much self-explanatory, just as I stated. And it can be used to motivate, to encourage others. So to continue to um, be motivated, to find your motivation and to encourage um, yourself um, with your endeavors. So motivational interviewing, pointing out your strengths, um, doing this time would be helpful um, to kind of deal with some of the symptoms Um um, what else I can think of just from right here on the spot? Um, yeah, I think I said a nice little list. So when I'm saying pointing out your, your strength, it is, um, we're pointing out good things about you. They may be simple things. It may be, Hey, I arrived to this counseling session, um, early or on time and, it may be something as concrete as, oh, I'm having a good day, or I actually was able to complete my goal for today or for last week, or I'm really smart, or I'm really pretty, or I'm really good at singing. So it can be um, different things as far as pointing out your strength and not just focusing on your um, weaknesses, but also turning around those weaknesses and making it a strength. Um, so that's what I mean by pointing out your, um, strength. Uh, I'm sorry guys for all the constant moving. If you do notice my hand is a bit shaky today. <laughs> um, so yeah, so those are some things you can do. So we said relaxation, we said, um, pointing out your strengths. We said some CBT, we said some motivational interviewing, which is just encouraging yourself, motivating yourself, um, through your endeavors and your situations, um, whatever you're battling, um, you know, just keep your spirits up. Um, um, I also thought of something else and it just left my brain as far as, um, a way to, um, work through having broken heart syndrome. Oh, oh okay. Wait, and the most important one is making sure that, your chest pain and this shortness of breath is not due to any other medical condition. So being on top of your medical appointments and medications and things of that nature. Um, so I actually had another thought that just left me. So I'm just going to wrap it up here. Um, so yeah, we talked about having broken heart syndrome. We talked about the definition. We talked about some ways that can help with um, feeling better. How to recognize it is something we also talked about. So noticing what, that you had a stressful event and that kind of brought on the um, chest pain and the shortness of breath, but also ruling out any other medical condition before um, coming to that diagnosis. Um, we talked about... Um, different well we didn't talk about different cases um so like i said it's always mentioned in a media you can hear oh um so this they say with statistics that it occurs with ages um increase increase it's an increased trend that it occurs it occurs with ages 50 and above. So you may hear a story saying um, someone child may have passed away and that they soon um, became sick or they soon um, just 
suddenly made a transition and a lot of people will consider that as broken heart syndrome like i said it's a rare occasion that that um it can be fatal and most of it can be reversed um just by some of the things that's mentioned and just being on top of your um, medical conditions and appointments so yeah on rare occasion it can be fatal so we've you all heard those stories i will name a few but i do not i want to respect people's privacy so we've all heard a few in the news and celebrity wise as well um so with all of that said i'm going to um, ask that you please like subscribe and comment below but when you're commenting please be vague in the comments to respect confidentiality. Please remember when you're commenting to respect others as well. Um, this is a respectful channel. This is a safe place. This is um, love, healing, and growth. Counseling minus the boy. Um, So I will be monitoring the comments as well. I will be encouraging feedback. If you have any other topic you would like me to go over or you would like me to retouch anything in the previous videos and just go more in detail or you have questions, feel free and just let me know. On that note, um, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for being on the journey with me. Um, as I always try to end, I was, as I always try to end with encouragement um, and just, Thank you for watching as well as to give you that um, encouragement to continue on the love, healing, and growth journey. Um, I'm proud of you for the steps you're making, and I am hoping to see you next time. Bye.